topic of this section is configure environments. Environment is the basis of library dependencies. When you create a library, you must assign it to an environment. Each environment corresponds to a different state in the publishing workflow. New properties are created with three environments. One development, one staging, and one production. The production environment goes with the published column. The staging environment goes with the submitted and approved columns. Development environments go with the development column. A property has only one staging and one production environment. But there can be multiple development. Because some companies may have development teams in multiple locations, multiple development environments are required. The installation of the environment is very simple. Click the icon under Install on the right side of the environment. And a page will pop up. This page shows the type of environment and environment ID. This section is the code for deploying this environment. That is, Adobe Launch Tracking Code. This code is loaded asynchronously by default. But it will be loaded synchronously by clicking here. Generally, you should not modify it here. It is recommended to use asynchronous loading. This code needs to be deployed to all pages of the website, which is the head of the template page. Next, look at how to create a development environment. Click Add Development in the upper right corner directly. You can see that both staging and production are not optional. Because there is only one of them, select Development. Name Definition. Arbitrarily named D1. Select host select managed by Adobe. The hosts mentioned in the previous section are used here. This setting has actually been completed. But note that there is a create archive below. Checking it will bring up more settings. In this way, you manually upload the library to your server. We set path to test here. Then save. You can see that this tracking code is different. Here is your host name. That is to load from your own server. But you have to manually download these configurations and upload them to the path you set yourself. This method is not very useful. That's it for this section.